Here's how to write your AdSense articles. Whether you're writing these articles yourself or you're hiring them out, you still need to create a system. If you don't have a system, your results will vary a lot. You'll have some good articles and you'll have some really low quality articles and your results will be all over the place. So I recommend that you have a very specific system that you follow or that you get your writer to follow every time. So I'm just going to go over an example of a system and this is the one that I recommend that you get started with. Number one, define who is the intended reader. So be specific. Now, the reason that you want to be specific is because if you go too general, then your information won't solve the issue that that one person has. So I'm going to give you this example. The intended reader is Alicia, who wants to start a blog about vintage women's clothing. She is not sure what the process is for writing high quality posts, and she feels a little stuck. We've identified who the reader is, kind of a little bit about her background and what her problem is. She feels a little stuck. She doesn't know how to move forward. Once I've identified this, I can identify what the outcome of the article will be for them. So this example, she will have a system that she can immediately implement that will provide her with way more consistent, high quality results. This is the measure of how I determine if this article was successful. Did she walk away with a system she can immediately implement? If it's too vague, if it's not, not useful, then the article was a failure by the measure of this system. Now, the next thing that we need is a catchy title. It has to be for the intended reader. So again, we're matching all this up and it has to be a max of 60 characters. The reason for that is Search engines only display a maximum number of characters. So if you keep it under 60, you should be fine for most, most search engines. An example is bulletproof process to produce high quality AdSense posts. So this speaks to Alicia who is looking for a process and she feels a little bit stuck. So I'm writing this title to appeal to her specifically. What is a great description? Again, for the intended reader, and this has to be a maximum of 160 characters. You can go to lettercount.com, lettercount.com. That one is, that, that site is this site, actually. I'll just show you it really quickly. All you need to do is just type in the text, just copy and paste it, hit count characters, and you can see that it's at 137 characters, which is totally fine. So, this a great description. So the example writing can be a confusing process, but if you implement these five steps, you'll be creating professional level posts with ease instantly. So this speaks to her, Alicia. And then you ask what sections can you subdivide your work into? I prefer to divide the work up into different sections. This tends to make things a little bit more clear. If you see an article where it's not divided up, th these are sub headlines, this is what I mean by sections. Normally for your articles, you're going to want to write more content for this. 136 is not going to get you listed and 136 words is not going to get you listed in search engines. My intent for this is to provide the content for you. It is not to uh, do well in search engine traffic. If I did, I would need to write a lot more information for this and, and describe them a lot more, go into detail. But this is what you would basically be doing before you started writing an article and to decide what the sections that you're going to be uh, subdividing the work into. So for mine, I did reader, which is section one, outcome, title, description, and sections. Now, for this example, if I wanted to turn this into an article, it would be easy from here. I could go on describing why you needed this specific to talk about this specific. I could give examples and I, I could just go on and on about it. I could do that for for each of these if I wanted. So that's how to that's how to produce high quality posts. You want to follow a system. It will make you a more consistent writer or even if you're hiring, you'll make your writers more consistent.